Hey, and thanks for clicking play. Um, in the last uh, video, we looked at this Aptiva. And in that video, I talked about the Pentium 100 that I then turned into a Pentium 200, the slot build, um, slot one build that I had, um, and that whole sort of Windows 95 into Windows 98 um, era of gaming for me. But what got cut is a bit of talk about the PCs that I had before that. See, I went from my Commodore Amiga into, because of budget constraints, a used 386DX and that was a bit of a surprise to me. What was a surprise was the fact that the sound was crap because it didn't have a sound card in it. Why would I assume I need to add additional um, hardware to actually get anything that resembles a decent sound effect out of a um, otherwise expensive machine? The other shocker was this. Look, what I was used to was a world of compatibility, give or take, you know, the need for a couple of interfaces here and there, like, you know, the difference between Sinclair and Kempston, with many joystick manufacturers, you know, got around by doing this sort of thing. But in the days of the Amiga and the Spectrum before it and the Commodore 64, and even all the way back to the Atari 2600, we were used to dealing with these D9 pins. And the big shocker, and I, I think, I think I remember correctly that maybe my 386, I know it had a COM port on the back, but maybe it was a 25 pin rather than a nine pin, potentially. However, you could get adapters for them. The mouse port, because it was an, um, an Amstrad machine, they had a proprietary mouse port. So even though it was a D9 connector, it was actually inverted. Um, so, and, and I think it was a different pin out as well. All I knew is I couldn't just plug in any old mouse. You had to have an Amstrad mouse. What I certainly couldn't do is take any of the joysticks that I would have had left over from my Amiga. I actually sold them with the computer. So it's, it's a null point, um, but I couldn't just plug them in. And even if I did have an adapter for the comms port, well, even though these plug in quite happily, they don't work. And even now, and maybe somebody can answer this for me in the comments, there are, you can buy a comm port mouse for early uh, computers, early PCs, but to my knowledge, there were no comm port compatible joysticks, which for me, beggars belief. So there was no follow on that I was aware of compatibility. What you needed, well, in fact, let's turn this back because this is misleading. What I needed to get hold of was some additional hardware just to do that. Now, when I first bought that 386DX, I got hold of um, a used copy of another game, which I will talk about when I get hold of a big box copy of that particular game. So I don't want to spoil that now. The second game I bought, which is the first PC game I ever bought from a shop, I remember it clearly, was X-Wing. Here's a copy that I've repurchased um, at the end of last year. And this really was the driver of I needed, I absolutely needed, um, some way of plugging in a joystick. So what I ended up doing was buying a cheap quick shot, uh, which, which came with in the box, a game card as they called it. So it was a, um, a piece, sorry, it was a ISA slot card that went into my 386 and added two um, joystick ports. So obviously the joystick ports are the same as on this sound card here but it actually had two of them and it wasn't a sound card. Um, and I later obviously then upgraded to a Sound Blaster 16, pulled out that game card and pull, put in an actual sound card. Uh, going down at that point, obviously from having two joystick ports to only one, but having the added function of sound. But it was sort of, imagine something like this, but it was analog at least, not digital, um, with a couple of fat buttons at the top there. Or no, I think you actually held it sideways. Um, that was it, um, and it had these two two buttons there. But yes, it worked, and it was analog at least, like I said, not digital. So while it could be used for flight sims, it really wasn't ideal. So that brings me into what I then had to do, which was buy a joystick that I was happy to use going forwards. Let's have a look at what arrived in the post today. One box fresh from the eBay fairies. This is the first time I've opened this. All I've done is cover up my postal address for the sake of doing this video. This 
This is not the safe way to do it, kiddies. Very well packed for the size of what I know is in here. Let's have a look, shall we? What I have here, as you can see, and this is interesting. This is very interesting because I certainly bought mine. So this must be a later package um, because as you can see there, that says works with Windows 95. Whereas when I bought mine, it was back in the days of DOS and Windows 3.1 being the current operating systems. So we're talking early 90s, um, very early 90s. So a good couple of years at least before, before this example that we're looking at here. But yes, we are looking at a new old stock, quick shot, super warrior. And this joystick was absolutely fantastic on a budget for, that'll be why it comes with a CD by the way, this has got extra games on it, whereas mine only came with a driver floppy disk. Um, but this was absolutely fantastic for flight sims um, because, don't know if you can see there, let me just tap. But what you have is you've got the main stick, two buttons, two other independent fire buttons here, and you've got a throttle wheel here. So this worked really well for flight sims and it worked excellently as a budget joystick for it's a must have for pilots, it tells you. Um, that would never lie, that wouldn't just be marketing. Um, this was um, absolutely great for X-Wing. So I had my throttle wheel here, and I think I use these for assigning um, front and rear shields. Um, and then I had other controls up here. I think one, if I held it and then turned it, I, I used that for, for, for rolling, um, and otherwise it's ordinary flight controls, all those kind of things. Um, and then the throttle, th setting a throttle there. Absolutely fantastic joystick. Loved it. This is new old stock. This is factory sealed, as you can see. Look at that. And you know what? This wasn't a stupid price either. This was $50. So essentially the same price, 50 Australian, so about 25 pounds. That's what they cost brand new. In fact, that's probably less than what they cost brand new. And this is brand new. Ah, there's a thing with new old stock, isn't there? You don't open them, do you? There's no, there's no way we get, oops. Oh, what's, 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 what's going on there? What's, no, no, stop. Where did those scissors come from? Who just did that? Who, who would do that? Look, who would buy something like this and leave it in its bloody box? This is gonna get used. This is absolutely gonna get used. Here we go, this cellophane goes out the window. There we go. Look, it's even got an original barcode on it, weird. Okay. Got the disc, so it'd be interesting to find out what's on that. Games Mania 2. No idea what's on that. And I have to open this, because otherwise, for all I know, the eBay seller has sold me a brick in a box with some uh, shrink wrap around it. So. Got a flat bladed knife. I just want to push under there. There we go. Beautiful. I just don't want to rip it. What we've got here is the longest unboxing video ever. Here we go. There we go. So this should be brand new, all packaged. Look at this. <laughs> More boxing to deal with. So we've got the uh, pamphlet that comes with it there. Fantastic. Centering your joystick. So these are in the days of you had the trims as well to actually center it. Here we go, look at this, a brand new, this, this, oh, I have to say, oh, and I'm very pleased, I'll show you what that is in a minute. 
I'm, I'm, I have to say there is something special about this experience. I, I didn't think I'd get off on this. I, I didn't buy it because it was boxed or because it was, well, no, that's not true. Of course I'd, I saw several for sale and they were all similar price. And I saw this one and I thought, well, that's new old stock. And, and at that price, has it even just been rewrapped? This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I wasn't after, I would have happily had a used unboxed one. Um, but like I say, they're all fairly similar price. Well, no, I could have got one at half the price, I guess. But look at that, that's still, that's still wrapped. There we go. That's that bit of space, okay, um, cardboard there. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And what I'm pleased about is it also comes with the disc. So yes, I've got the game disc, but I've got the driver disc, which is incredibly important. Start Windows, insert disc in drive A. Well, that's still talking about Windows. So I just hope in Windows, choose run from the file manager, type A setup exe. So I'm assuming it's, it installs the DOS drivers as well. We'll find out, we'll find out. If you watched last week's video, you'll notice that um, this is what I had back in the day. But what you didn't pick up in that video was the fact that I actually had one of these from back in my 386. Oh, this is so good. Oh, oh, look and look, there's the throttle wheel. Okay, so let's go over it. Look, you've got the throttle wheel there for setting your throttle. You've got these two buttons here. These are all separately configurable, all four buttons. Button there, button there. And you've got your trims here, so centering. Center isn't always center, so you have to actually, if you've got a bit of drift, you basically correct that. Anybody that played with ready controlled cars back in the day, similar thing when you're setting up your controller. And I've got a turbo fire button there as well. Suction pads on the bottom, QC pass sticker. That is beautiful, that's a beautiful thing. So there you go. So that's the same joystick as I had back in the day. I bought my original when I had my 386DX, so very early 90s, and I kept the same joystick. It's the only um, other joystick I ever needed for my PC all the way up until the um, early 2000s when I gave it to a charity shop, I would have assumed as part of our moving over to Australia from the UK. It never broke. It was a fantastic joystick. Used it for lots of flight sims, um, a few games, things like Incoming. It came into its own in games like that. But the one that it really takes me back to is X-Wing because it's the game that I bought this for. Uh, I bought this joystick for and it worked so well. So I really do look forward to using it again for that exact same purpose. We, of course, need to install the driver disc for Windows for this joystick. Um, I didn't want to do X-Wing straight away because I want to do a video in itself, X-Wing, but using this joystick on X-Wing will be the pinnacle for me. Um, it's going to be great, but um, here we go. So just going to drive A or B in Windows, choose Run, blah, 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 blah. A setup. Here we go. New old stock ruined again. Do you know what? I'm going to neatly cut this. Yes, that's right. I've been allowed a pair of scissors again. No keyboards were harmed in the making of this particular video. <laughs> See me and scissors. I didn't even cut in quite the right spot. So I'll keep that. that that's going to go in the box. Here we go. All right, one disc. Right, protected. Right, let's do this. <laughs> what do we got here? So on the disc, Joy Toy. Um, <laughs> did we buy the right product online? It's always a risk. Um, Joy Toy, yes. Yes, I'm saying nothing more. Okay, what we're after though is set up. Uh, which is there. Right, let's go. I'm going to install the Joy demo program as well.
Select the group where you would like the joystick demo program. I don't know. Um, accessories. Oh, that's the demo program there. Joystick adapter setup. Two single axis four button joystick. Um, three single axis. See, I think it's three axis. Three, four button. That's what I think it is. High accuracy, I don't know. Yeah, because you've got the throttle and that is an axis and it's four individual buttons, I know that. You've got the two on top and you've got the two down the bottom. I'm gonna go with that. Who knows if it's high accuracy? Joystick device driver installed. Windows will now really start to enable the driver, okay. Is it gonna restart Windows for me? Windows is now restarting. Now what I haven't done at all is actually plug in the joystick. Uh, Windows is restarting. So while Windows restarts, let's do some things. Let's um, unravel this for a start. Fantastic. This isn't really fantastic. Let's not overuse the word fantastic for this. And then we've got this. Oh, how do I? Preserve the bag. Ah, oh, I think it's done with sticky tape. There we go. It's not rocket science, Chris. It's just a bag. That uh, was easy enough. There we go. Can I get away with, um, with plugging this in now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just in plugging this in. Did you wanna see the plugging in? You're not going to, I'm sorry. Another day. Right, that is plugged in. Hopefully that was plugged in soon enough. Windows is apparently restarting, however, I'm not convinced that Windows is restarting. Anything is up with this computer, it's this. When it comes to doing a shutdown, it's often not happy. So I think, right, I've rebooted and it's asking for a drive again, because obviously um, ejected the disk. So let's retry. So is that it? Is it done? I don't know. So maybe if I now go into startup, Programs, accessories, joystick stick demo. It's under system tools, is it? Because I don't, hmm. Couldn't capture the joysticks. It hasn't, hasn't done anything. Well, um, it keeps crashing when rebooting after that driver install. So I'm gonna have to play about with that. However, so that's under Windows. However, um, I have booted into my GOG version of um, X-Wing um, from the DOS prompt. But just for the sake of this test, this uh, seems to be seeing the joystick. It's seeing that it's got a joystick attached and it's saying center joystick and press button. So that's good. So center joystick and press button. Top left and press button. Move joystick to bottom right and press button. Center joystick and press button. Now it didn't do anything for the throttle. So where was the throttle during all of that? The throttle was centered. Um, so that should be interesting. I have no mouse support in here. Oh, here we go. All right. I haven't done anything really in this. Um, what do I do now? I go there into spaceport. Right, let's see what we can do. I'll just have to hold it up, eh? Yes, level one X-Wing is fine. Into the maze. Oh, it's annoying that there's no sound. And I want to know what's on there, but I'm gonna to have to get those other. Oh, here we go. So in theory, ah, oh, see the throttle isn't working. That button's working and that button's changing that view. That button doesn't seem to be doing anything. Fire button's working. Yes, see, I remembered that. 
So the throttle isn't changing throttle. And I seem to remember I had to set that up myself before. That does that. So that's like that kind of control. And then, oh, the turret. I need the sound effects. Um, and then holding that top button and, and doing that does that. So, you know, a roll. And if I let go, then it's just sort of yawing. Um, and then, so this button is getting rid of the cockpit for whatever reason, and that button isn't assigned to anything yet. So, so there we go. That's working. Apart from the throttle isn't set up. Well, I don't know. If you look under here, hardware, oh, no, 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 device manager. Do have this to know what that is about, but you've got under here a game port joystick. Actually, I'm thinking that that driver might be for Windows 3.1, which potentially means I didn't need to install this at all. So that could have stayed in its bag. So I'm gonna put that back in its bag. It may yet still come in useful. At the end of the day, what I don't have right now is a Windows 3.1 slash DOS machine. DOS, Josh, Josh machine. Um, I found under control panel, you've got quick shot joystick. I had to go into game controllers, add a three button, three axis, four button joystick. However, port driver standard game port, yes. Under here, if I go, yes, if I add this as a three axis, three axis, four button joystick, which is what it is. Okay, and if I go into properties then, and then calibrate in here, so not in the quick shot program, then I can leave its handle set and then press a button on the controller. Move its handle in a complete circle several times. and then press a button on the controller. Center position, leave its handle centered, yes. To set the range of motion for the three axis, axis three, move it all the way up and all the way down several times. Up, down, I'm not happy with that. See what it's doing? I'm not actually happy that that is working correctly. Save your controls, calibration, click finish. Right, let's test. So the throttle is acting a little bit weird. If I go all the way forward, it goes to the top, that's fine. If I go about halfway, it goes down to the bottom. And then I go all the way back to the bottom, it goes up again. So that's not right. Um, buttons are working, one, two, three, four. All right, look, let's see what we can do with it. So let's apply that, click OK. OK, and let's try. Microsoft Flight Simulator again. You forget what a pain these things were. And the satisfaction of when you get it working again. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. There's got to be, I think, maybe I tell it it's a joystick with throttle. I think that's what I'm actually meant to do. But for now, this is going to be fine. flying yes get the gear up now what I'm finding weird is I'm oh no there we go it's holding now oh brakes don't want brakes on let's get landing gear what do these buttons do? Oh, that's flaps. Oh, okay, that's flaps up and down there. So that's good. Is 
Zooms would be doing a sort of weird auto-centering thing, which I don't like, but that's probably in the settings of the, um, of the thing, of the game. Okay, so while well, my Cessna bobs up and down inexplicably, um, just to give you an update, I think I need to try and find a better driver than the Microsoft default joystick driver um, because the throttle's still not happy and I've tried everything I can. Uh, but look, this is great to have this again. Boxed, new old stock, drinking some coffee out of Maria because it's not quite wine time. It's very soon wine time. But there's nothing wrong with drinking coffee out of Maria. Um, and so just to give a quick update, I won't be doing a separate video on this disc because as I was looking at it, I was thinking this is ringing. Some of those games like Raptor, I definitely played that using the joystick. So I need to work out if there's a way of getting that working off this particular disc. But everything else was ringing a bell. And I thought, no, I, 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 don't, think, I don't think I had this disc. But the amusement of how bad the disc is was ringing a bell in terms of I was hearing LGR's voice in my head. So I went looking and sure enough, yes, he's done a video on this disc that also came with another quick shot bundle, not the same joystick as this. Um, so I'm not going to do a separate video on this. I will instead put a link in the description and in the comments to LGR's um, video about this exact same disc because he covers it better than I ever could or would. So do take time to look at that. Very amusing, very, very amusing. Um, so, but this is great. It's gonna be good for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's gonna be great for this that I got off Tim, um, as I mentioned before. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. Never played it back in the day. And I'm really excited about getting it fully working uh, along with some sound in this as well so yeah that's it quick shot super warrior pleased to have one again and um i better get some playing done but in reality the next thing on my list is editing this video so hope you have a good week stay safe this is going to be an amusing end because i can put my flaps down i can put my gear down but I can't get the throttle any lower than 50%. <laughs> oh. So that's not gonna work with the flaps like that, is it? Let's. <laughs> this is gonna be amusing. Gears down. It's because I can't. Flaps increase your rate of climb at lower altitudes. Well, stop your, lower your stall speed, essentially. Oh, come on. Is my gear down? Yes. He's down, he's down. <laughs> Brakes. No, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Get out of here. Gear up. <laughs> There's only one way to end this. Yeah, I need to fix that throttle.